and welcome back to episode 8 of Casco Confessions. I'm Vicky. I'm Kate. And I'm Francis. And on this episode, we are talking hacks, more confessions, and we are going to open our car accessory presents that we've bought each other, which I'm really, really nervous about. <laughs> yes. I can't wait. I can't wait to see your face, Kate. Mine? Yep. Oh, God. Why? I'm scared now. Because of what I posted to your house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm scared. It's not going to jump out at me, is it? No, but your car will love it. And okay. so will you. Yeah. I'm dead excited for everyone to open theirs. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it. How's everyone's <laughs> week been? Um, I've had a good week, but um, my beans have been in a pan and on toast. <laughs> How's yours? <laughs> my my big bean has been on fire. <laughs> Oh, just no. a small fire. Cooks it too much? Yeah, my dad's now calling it barbecue beans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, and it was mid-driving lesson as well. How mortifyingly <gasps> embarrassing. Um, I didn't realise you were on a lesson. Yeah, on a lesson and uh, like smoke started coming out from underneath the bonnet. And I was like, mm, let's just pull over, have a look, open the bonnet, the smoke <laughs> seemed to stop, checked all the levels, there was fluid in there and oil in there. So I was like, oh, well, it, whatever it was, maybe it was just a bit of oil burning off. It's stopped now. Let's. So we drove down the road, and then the smoke started coming out inside the vents of the car. What? Oops. And more smoke from under the bonnet. Like a lot, a lot of smoke oh, from under yeah. the bonnet. So I was like, stop, 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 stop. Now, emergency, stop, 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 stop. We got out the car, turned the engine off, and we just stepped away. And you know, you just I opened the bonnet, and I was just waiting for the whoosh of flames oh, to no. come. Luckily, it wasn't that dramatic. It was just a lot, a lot of smoke and one part, like the rubber seal had burnt away. But when I got recovered on the recovery truck, they did bring a fire extinguisher just in case. <laughs> oh my God. What did on your people this- say? Oh, do you know, she was so lovely. She was like, at least I know what to do now in an emergency. I wouldn't have known what to oh. do with that. And, oh, she was so lovely. Nice. Honestly, so, and all my pupils who I had to reschedule that day were so lovely. Um, but it wasn't my best day at work. <laughs> Smoke in the vents. Oh, but Vicky, that's your that's your best thing, your car, your bean. I know. Is it fine now? Have we got a happy ending to this story? Yes, if the, do you know my mechanic is so amazing. He ordered the part, and if the part had came that day, my car would have been back up on the road that day. Oh, but the wow. part came late, and it got dark, so I got it back on Saturday morning. But how quick is that? Fire on Friday. Oh, what a dude! Car back on Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to your mechanic. Oh, honestly, Oxway in Hartlepool. Oh. Unreal. So the UK's most famous car is now okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should leave being alone a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we've jinxed it, Francis. Maybe we should be the Bean sort of has had a really tough few weeks because the other week as well, when we had all that snow and ice, somebody in their works van skidded into the back of my car in the car park and have cracked all the rear bumper. Oh, oh. no. It's been a bad time, so hopefully in this package that I'm going to open shortly, there's some bandages in there for Bean. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor Bean. Oh, I know. So I'm glad oh. you've both had a better week <laughs> Our, our weeks have been pretty uneventful, really, compared to that, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, I can't well, say anything that's going to top that, to be honest. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been on fire and I've not had a crash. No. <laughs> oh, don't say that. It's oh, too, cold to have a, too cold to have a fire now. The snow is absolutely insane up by your house. Do you know what the snow's like in London, Vicky? Non-existent. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to get some snow because I'm going to Lapland on Friday. Oh, guess where I'm going? Where Ooh. are you going? Christmas markets in Bruges. Ooh, Ooh. that's exciting. Are you driving? Mega excited. Yes, taking Mike Wazowski to Belgium across the <laughs> channel on a boat. Um, oh, hopefully we don't catch fire or crash. Oh, Francis. <laughs> don't stop saying stuff like that. Don't, don't jinx <laughs> it. Lots of people get worried about driving abroad. Have you got any hacks for driving on the other side of the road? Oh, car hacks. Yes, we're yeah. going to talk about car hacks. Hacks for driving abroad. Just think opposite. If you normally do that, then do that. If you normally do <laughs> that, then do that. <laughs> right? I'm not sure exactly how useful that hack will be. <laughs> Damn. Do you know what? Actually, one time when I came out of a hotel in Calais, um, which is in France, if you don't know, then I turned, I was just Thanks. in UK mode. I wasn't thinking. And I turned right. 
And actually then I was driving into oncoming traffic and had to quickly Oops. U-turn. That happened. That happened. No way. <laughs> yeah. And it was, uh, it was, uh, it turned, turned right into a dual carriageway type road. So I couldn't just like go the other way. I had to actually U-turn in the middle of this road. Yeah, that was fun. Francis. What are the roundabouts like? Opposite. Just steer left onto it. I know, but I still can't get my head around that going the wrong way around a roundabout. Try it. It's so fun. Not in the UK. Don't try it. Don't try <laughs> no, it. No, don't <laughs> try it in Milton Keynes. Just lesson. <laughs> Just lots of people go down the world the wrong way around the road. <laughs> Do you know what my best car hack is, though? My best actual car hack is, you know, when you've got rubbish in the car and you don't want to have it in the car because, I don't know, you're off to a lesson. Here's what you need to do. When you reach over to the back seat, there's a little lever that folds the back seat down in case you go to Ikea and you have, I don't know, flat pack. So then you can have no back seats and more boot space. So instead of having a rubbish bag in the car, gross, because then the car's going to have rubbish in it, you just reach over to the back seat, flip the back seat down, throw it in the boot, then close it, and then it's like it's gone to Narnia. Finished. Well, uh, why don't you just put it in a bin? Just put it in the back not, pocket? If you're not by a bin. <laughs> you just throw it out the window. <gasps> Kate, I hope oh, you've no. never let it. <laughs> I really joke. We all know we've got a fine. <laughs> <laughs> Was that episode one? Yeah, I forgot oh. about your littering fine. That wasn't so, even me. Is your, when do you empty the boot, Francis, or is it just still full of, like, Mackey's rubber? The boot is full of Red Bull, McDonald's wrappers, crisps, and Christmas sandwiches. Hey! <laughs> 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 no, I empty it when it gets nearer, nearer. But then you don't have to think about it. It's in another compartment. It's in another world. Is that not a good hack? Would you not do that? I do have some rubbish in my boot, I'll be honest. Yeah, I but do. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. not, I'm not flipping it in from the front seat, like, folding it down, like, and then putting it in. I've never... Doosh, doosh, gone. My arms are not long enough to reach the back. Oh, Vicky, you've only got a mini. It's like this big. You could definitely reach the back seat flipper down now. I'll try your hack. I'll let you know how I get on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this didn't didn't come across as like game-changing, life-changing yeah. stuff. Has anyone else got better driving hacks? Well, yeah. I don't know if it's going to go viral, that one, Francis. No. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any hacks, Kate? Get yourself a pair of Crocs. Oh. And then when you stick them in your vent, when you want to show the pupil or something, it asks the perfect stand. Put your book up there, anything. It's great. See, these crocs. Not going to be doing that. Cue the tumbleweed. <laughs> I know, we're just both looking at you like, what is wrong with them? What's right with them? The crocs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's, what's right with them, kids? Everything's right with them. Oh, man. I think we should settle this just to put Kate at ease or to validate me and Vicky. Get in the comments and if you would put Crocs as an accessory in your car, let us know. If that's completely unacceptable, then put it in the comments. Thank you. And uh, we'll have this <laughs> result on the next podcast. Kate, if everybody says it's unacceptable, are you going to remove them from your car? Am I shite? <laughs> 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 my shoes have you got oh, a hack right. Vicky uh, the best thing's always the easiest thing isn't it so like when my pupils are reversing and they're struggling I always just say well point your finger and just follow your finger that's the way you need to go because people usually turn the wrong way on because they've seen Top Gear where they do opposites and then Jeremy does that yeah. and then it's confusing <laughs> yeah and then you're thinking about where you want the front of the car to go but you're reversing so you should be thinking about where you want the back to go Oh, and like where the, you know, where your petrol gauge is because of the arrow on the mm -hmm. little petrol pump. Oh, yeah, pump. that's a good one. That's a cool one, yeah. And the aeroplane is on signs, move, have you noticed? So depending the on which way. Yeah, so on the road sign, if it says like uh, straight on for Manchester Airport, the aeroplane will be pointing straight. But if you're going to turn off the junction, the aeroplane's wonky. I never knew that. No way. Well, next time you're driving near an airport, have a little look on the signs, which were not the hazard warning triangles, but you know, like the, like the road signs. Yeah. Have a little look and see which way the aeroplanes move. And it moves? Yeah, so straight like on if you want straight it. on. And then left if it's gone left. Oh, the aeroplane just points to the way of the airport? Yeah, not the actual flight that you're going on. It doesn't track it. Okay. <laughs> the bit where aeroplane moves <laughs> was misleading. Oh, okay. But the, the actual papers on aeroplane. 
yeah, points yeah, yeah. in different directions, oh, depending on but, the direction that you need to take to arrive at it. that aeroplane. <laughs> There's not a little man next to the sign going, <laughs> flipping it. Fuck. BA 1396 is going that way. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Heathrow, just be on a uh, spinner. <laughs> just be all around all the time. <laughs> oh, stop it. That's made me laugh. Oh, dear. Oh, have we had any good confessions sent in this week? Oh, we've got actually loads. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to do a quick fire confessions. Quick fire. Like, boom, Ooh. confession in your boom, face. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 uh, boom. Because you guys are amazing and you sent us loads of confessions. So thank you and keep them coming. Kate, what's the socials? At Car School Confessions on TikTok and on Instagram. And if you want to email us, it's carschoolconfessions at gmail.com amazing TikTok Instagram email how many more ways do you want to get in contact with us does anybody want to write a letter no not no <laughs> carry a pigeon no <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do quick fire confessions or should we get the trauma of with an open these presents okay let's open the presents then we'll do quick <gasps> fire confessions because I'm excited and I've, I've Vicky I fucked up what did you do so I have no idea how this happened, but three things came in the post for me. One was just in an envelope which had my name on it. I was like, cool, Christmas card or something, and I opened it. Do you know what it was? You were just, you were so excited, you couldn't wait. There was no way of identifying your present from regular post. Okay. So That's all right. That's all right. Who's opening first? Oh, I feel like it's Christmas. It is Christmas. (laughs) So excited. Francis, you open yours first. Okay, um, well, here's the one that... Three things. Vicky, we had a we had a price limit. Did you... Fiver? Yeah, how did this all come... That's a fiver worth of postage right there. Because we didn't do Prime, didn't come next day, did it? You've got to wait. Uh... Um, okay, so this is the first thing which I already opened. And it's <laughs> a car air freshener. You love an air freshener? I do like an air freshener. Normally, they don't have... A famous mini on it though. So now I'm going to have to. <laughs> Brilliant! Now Love I'm going to have to hang your mini <laughs> in I my car. <laughs> oh, You're that's so amazing. Welcome. It's actually got the scene from Scarlet's Driving School on it as well. So if that's it wasn't going to ick me out that it was an orange mini, actually, that's a cool photo. So thank you so much. That's you hilarious. Are so welcome. And every time you get in your car now, you'll see the best car in the whole world. Well, I see it anyway because I'm in it. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the debate rages on. Uh, shall I open the other two? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, for a fiver? Like, no. That mm. alone, printing on an air freshener is no, like 15 was, quid. Not so cheap. So cheap. And it, it should be a nice festive smell as well, Francis. Okay, I haven't opened the smell Ooh. yet because I didn't want to cheat even more. Smells of beans. <laughs> <laughs> Burnt Probably, beans. Yeah, it smells better than my <laughs> car. Oh, it stunk. It absolutely stunk. Oh my God, what is this? This is so cool. It's uh, a reindeer. <laughs> and it bubbles. Oh, look. Where does that go? Dashboard. Oh. <laughs> Try to play. Oh, Underneath uh, my mini air freshener, a little reindeer. I will absolutely stick this on my car (laughs) after this right now. (laughs) This is so cool. Well, look at Francis getting excited over car um, accessories. Yeah. (laughs) I know. I'm like the knowest person to car accessories, but... Since, Since I got my car. Since you've got your car, look. Like I want all the accessories. You've replaced your dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, what? What are you And doing? stuck stickers on the front grill. Yeah, everything. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, so you see whiskers. Yeah, the whiskers. <laughs> the whiskers. Okay, one more. Yeah. Um, I'm so lucky. Thank you. Uh, everybody wishes they got Vicky now. Kate, you're going to be annoyed that you got me because you didn't get three things. <laughs> Well, Vicky didn't get three things either. Yeah, Vicky, you're annoyed that you didn't get you either. It might be quality over Oh my God, it's fluorescent yellow! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You've spoke about these so much, Francis. I thought you were dropping a hint and you really wanted one. What is it? What is it? What is it? (gasps) Gear knob hoodie. I've seen these. (laughs) (laughs) It's a warmer for me. That's (laughs) amazing. Cut that bit. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh my god, that's sick. That is going uh, on my car right now as well. Do you know what? Because it's got a metal, um, <laughs> it's got a metal gear knob. Um, it's really cold when you get in and touch it. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> dear me. Oh, I'm, dear. I'm really glad that you're pleased with your car accessories. Thank Francis. you so much. You are so welcome. I'm sure you actually, get a fresh night as your favourite. That's um, amazing. This is my favourite. I actually want this in bigger. <laughs> I want this to be bigger. Okay, no, we definitely need to move on. <laughs> ah, so I can wear it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that clarified that. Okay, oh. what you got? What you got? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> why are you? Why is you? Why is you? Why are you this already? What is it? Kate's <laughs> got no words. Just head in hands. Francis, what have you said? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's so good. It's perfect for you, Kate. What is it? Liverpool shoes. <laughs> <laughs> One. It's the same colour as your car. And two, uh, it's from, you it's, it represents where you're from. Oh, uh, that's right? hilarious. Yeah. Oh, they're going to go right next to a crux. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? Wow. Oh, the friends are they're hilarious. Perfect. Oh my, the actual Liverpool Football Club ones as well. Yeah. For a fiver. Uh, what a bargain. Oh, uh, thank you. They're hilarious. Oh, uh, they're going in my little car next to me, Crocs. <laughs> I don't know if you actually support Liverpool, but the yeah. Liverpool thing was too funny to miss. Yeah. If you haven't followed the whole podcast, go back and listen to the beginning uh-huh. where the <laughs> banter about Kate being from Liverpool started. Oh, Vicky, I feel like this really needs to be in your car when we open this one. What is it? Oh, I'm really frightened. <laughs> no, it's dead good. I don't really do car accessories anyway, and I'm a bit nervous. You do now. Kate, I don't know what it is. Right, have you got a USB port? In your laptop? Yes, yes, Put yes, it on yes. your laptop. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Now I've opened it out of the packet, I can see. I can see what we've got going on here. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on a second, because I need to stick it in the USB. Well, everyone who's listening and not looking, get yourself on YouTube, because I have just got myself a disco. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> Look at this. Disco, ah. disco. Now we're all ready. Francis has got his hoodie, I've got my shoes, and you've got your disco light at the party. I've already got disco lights in my mini, but I don't have them in my new electric car. Go. So guess where that's going? <laughs> oh my God, Vicky, it's behind you. It's like really bright. It is really bright. So all my pupils have an electric lesson when I have an electric disco. Woohoo! Oh, thank you for that, Kate. Uh, I really, I legitimately. You're very love welcome. That. Thank you, Francis. Thank you. That was so fun. <laughs> we should do Secret Santa uh, every single podcast episode. Oh, uh, we should. <laughs> I think people should go and do the five pound accessory challenge and let us know what they bought. Yes. Yeah, put it on Instagram, tag us, and we'll judge whether your five pound accessories are amazing. A disco for a fiver. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, confession time. I am so ready for this. Okay, so this is my favourite confession. That's come in since we started this. No way. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. My driving instructor got arrested for selling drugs out of his car. He, <laughs> It was in the papers and everything and he got jailed in oh. your instructor's car. How did you not know? Like it must have smelled of something or other. Drug smell, right? I don't know what type I of really drug smell. We don't know. I don't know, fancy. The herbal kind. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they would smell. Wow. Wowza. In the comments, we can discuss this with you guys um, and talk about the confessions, but we're going to quick fire this. Go! Boom, boom, boom. Next one that was sent in. I was in a fairly empty car park with a pupil practicing and the car was parked in a corner with a person just sitting in the driver's seat on their own with the engine off just chilling. Not unusual that people just no. go and have a little break in a car park. We've all done that. Um, Another car came in, circled us, then parked in front of the other car, blocking them in. Like, what? 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 The driver it's got out. It's about to go off. <laughs> the, the driver got out and he delivered a Domino's to the other car. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. There that's you, that's great. a good hack. That's a good hack. That's a Just good hack. Good hack. Get your pizza delivered. Who thinks delivered. to get Domino's delivered to the car park? 
<laughs> why? I've done that to a park. Not Domino's. Get a Mackey's delivered order to the park. Delivery really? will do that for sure, yeah. Hi guys, I've been doing my driving lessons for a good month or two when I was starting to get the hang of things and we were driving down a street road when my instructor phone started to ring. He answered it through Bluetooth and it was his sister letting him know that their dad had just passed away. I had no idea what to do, so I just came out with, oh, that's sad. Still to this day, I'm mortified and we had around 30 minutes of the lesson left of just awkward silence. Oh God, no. No, don't answer your phone on Bluetooth. It could be anyone. Like It could be anyone. And then as if you've just kept the lesson going. Like oh. That's a really good excuse to cut a lesson short. Just Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah that's but really I'm, sad though. Not as good as my excuse of my car's on fire, let's stop right now. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, next quick fire confession. Pupil was struggling with his clutch control and was really heavy footed. So I was explaining how to be a little more gentle and slow with the pedals. Cool. This one's from an instructor. He was a bit <laughs> of a loud lad. Like to think he was a ladies man and a right joker. Anyway, don't we all? Um, he said, ooh, nice and smooth like I am with the ladies. I just laughed. He then said, maybe that's why I can't get it. As my girlfriend likes it rough, I didn't know how to respond or react, so we just continued to have a rough ride for the rest of the lesson. Boom. Wow. Um, wow, well, yeah. I actually don't know who that one came from, but thank you so much. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to unpick there. Let's just leave oh, it. Dear. <laughs> And then somebody has sent us a little voice note in of what they have been up to. Oh. This one's the best. This one's the best of the, the whole podcast. I love this one. <laughs> Thank you for the voice note. If you want to do voice note confessions, send it to us on Instagram. Um, but just enjoy this. I met a girl and we went back to hers and, and her dad was a construction worker. Drove one of the big vans, but it was a big box van because he had a lot of machinery in the back. Uh, and to get to hers, you had to walk down some steps, uh, which meant her mum and dad's sort of window was on street view level, um, and they'd locked the door and she'd forgotten the keys. Save the embarrassment of the two of us having to knock and wake her mum and dad up and like, hi, this is the fella I just brought home, yada, yada, yada. We decided that for some unbeknown God reason in our drunken stupidness, top of her dad's van, Seemed like a lo logical idea to get G. Um, and things were going great until the sun started coming off and we heard the front door going, we froze. And the next minute, the door and the van went and the van started off. And you can imagine the look on her dad's face when we banged and stopped and two of us climbed down from on top. From on top? Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> Amazing. Imagine, they must have been naked on top of the van as well. The dad, well, yeah, awkward family oh, dinner that night, God. for sure. Yes, but thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, we changed the voice as well, so unidentifiable. If you want to send us yours, we can do the same. So whoever you got jiggy with won't know that you, well, no, they will. Um, so anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's hundreds of people around the country getting jiggy on top of a van, Francis. <laughs> What, who knows? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Jeez. thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that, guys. <laughs> uh, it's been a bit of a brilliant. week or two half. So I've had a bit of a, a, a bad week with Bing, but then I've got a disco now and you have made me laugh. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> So remember, guys, if you've got any confessions, any funny stories that you want to share with us, you can email carschoolconfessions at gmail.com or DM us on our socials at carschoolconfessions, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Amazing. You can obviously listen to us on all your favourite podcasting platforms and YouTube. Get involved with us on the socials and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.